I should call this video John makes a pizza at let me show you the time 532 that's what that says. anyway so I have already gone into our beautiful freezer oh we have one more pizza left um, these were cheap they fit the caloric um, price ratio very well actually anyway if you want to know more about that, um, check the blog. It's not on the blog. Anyway, so so I already cut open this pizza with uh, this knife here. It's a pretty good knife. Um, I just thought it'd be funny to take the pizza. So before I was rudely interrupted, actually chasing the sleeping because, as I said before, it's it's late. So I'm just going to show you why, what happened, and why it took so long to get the camera back up, and why the time is now 5.34. Now, the reason for that is, is that, you see this battery? Now, what's, what's, what's wrong with this battery? Let's look at it. Okay. Now, which side do you think is the plus side? You would think that the black side is the, is the plus side, right? Because that's what they usually do. Oh, 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 oh. I'm... Uh, well, home life, that's the brand here, and uh, we're assholes, because we use our oh, no. I'd, I'd probably do that, that's a pretty funny joke, actually. Actually, it's, it's not funny, because, like, imagine, like, you are trying to fix your smoke alarm because you're having a fire, and you're like, oh, shit, well, there's a fire, I better put a new battery, you, you get it? The joke was is that the, you you're set it you're fixing your fire alarm during a fire. I'm gonna get back to sh to the cooking show. So I'm cooking today. We're cooking traditional crust pepperoni acme pizza. In very small text. And I can't microwave it because I need to cook it thoroughly. Made with real what the fuck made with pork, chicken, and beef. What, what the fuck is that shit? That's, that's bullshit because it's fucking pepperoni. And from what I remember, pepperoni is made from fucking uh, pork. <laughs> anyway, so let's, let's look at the instructions on this bitch. Dude, this battery sucks. Anyway, I'm using these batteries right now. I changed the batteries because the batteries died last time. Okay, so let's... Move away because that, that might ruin what's going to happen. Okay, so let's look at the instructions on this guy. Okay, what do we do? We have the internal temperature. This has to be. I always save the cardboard of this because it's actually a great place to cut your pizza because no plate is really ever big enough for it. Just, just remember that. It's never big enough, and you don't want to scratch through your plate, so always maintain the cardboard. Um, so, we have to preheat the, heat the oven to 400 degrees, and then bake for 6 to 18 minutes. Now, the reason that I'm eating this so early, or late, whatever your um, Um, your uh, preference is for choice um, is because what I've learned is is that the way to reset your sleep schedule is to eat um, is, is to actually fast during the times you're supposed to be sleeping and eat upon when you're supposed to break your fast and that's supposed to reset your schedule I read that on Lifehacker Yeah. Not with that. Anyway, I hope you could actually hear me. Well, I'll just dub over it if I need to. Oh shit, did I get the fucking thing in the. Okay, well, I might have just ruined what's gonna make this so funny. So, anyway, we're just gonna be waiting for 18 minutes. So, I'm gonna be Chai City. No, not 18 minutes. Well, it's, um. 
however long that the oven takes to preheat, which Jason says takes a very long time to preheat. By the way, you know, you like the tur turquoise? I like turquoise quite a bit. Anyway, I'm Chai City. I don't, I don't have my face on camera. Yo, Chai City. Oh, man. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't say N words got a pizza. Yeah, yeah, pizza. Oh, Miss T Pierogies for those um, Polish girls who you like. Yo, man, I'm Polish. I like pierogies too, man. I'm very worldly and like Eastern European. That's why I get Mrs. T's because it's made in Allentown. No, no, it's not. It's made somewhere in Pennsylvania. That's not Poland. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm Chai City, Chai City, Chai City. I'm gonna give money to people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get some money to people. Yeah, here is some money. Oh, God, I'm Chai City, Chai City, yeah. Yeah, you're Chai City. And then you have your giant green with the Hulk on it. For your comic book nerds, they're like, yo, man, you like the Hulk? Yeah, man, I like the Hulk so much that I, I bought it because it's got the Hulk on it. I'll fucking take my money back. Fuck, I'm not giving you my money. I'm not fucking Chai City. Fucking, now my money's fucking cold. Fucking, why does Chai City do that shit? Okay. Damn it. Anyway, so, we got some... Sweet potato gnocchi, you know, for those, for those, um, Trader Joe's bitches who are very, uh, you know, earthy and shit, you know, they like, like an Erica Badu, is she even relevant anymore? Why do you mention that? How much older is he than us? Anyway, um, uh, you know, carrots and shit, that's good for you, sweet potato. Actually, that looks like a carrot, but that's a sweet potato. I don't know why I said that. It's very late. You know, you got your vegetables for your anorexic girls who, uh, uh, like words that aren't normally used, like melange. Oh, I'm gonna give you some melange, you girl who is anorexic. I hope she doesn't throw it up later. It's just anorexic. Is that bulimic? I don't, I don't actually know. I'm Chai City. Oh wait, I'm not on camera because I'm in Chai City. I think you got chicken. Just in case you're, you're into like bestiality. You're, giving, you're, like, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna fuck a dog or some shit like that. God, imagine if a job saw this video. That would be really, really um, great. Anyway, so Chai City, that's why he didn't put himself on camera because he wants to have a good job. You ever see that guy's apartment? It's so nice, is it? Fucking, like... Is it this apartment? Dude, look at this apartment. There's fucking papers everywhere. They're all mine. Um, but Chastity, you know? So fucking knuckles, you know? Knuckles do this shit. That's for, like, when you get, like, girls over that are fucking nerds, like me. Then they could, like, all cuddle with knuckles when they're like, No, I'm not gonna have sex with you. You're, you have a really small penis. That's never happened to me. Ever. The knuckles is great. Hey, we got all this bony breakfast just in case you, we like bestiality a lot, so, you know. Gotta throw them some, throw them dogs some, some, some stuff, you know. Like, yo, dog, yo, here's a thing, you know, dogs, whatever a thing eats boneless chicken breast, you know what I mean? Don't want them to choke on anything other than my. You got steamers, steamers corn. Yeah, that, you got some more meat. Shit, you know what I mean? Chai City. Oh, yeah. You wanna know what's that? No, fuck that shit. No, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll show you that shit. You got some veggie burgers. A veggie burger. You know, for that little kid who's coming over. And he's like, oh, man, I want veggie burger. I like veggie burgers. Yeah, well, here's some veggie burgers. Excellent source of fiber. So he, so what you do is you fucking get him to be pooping the entire time while you're, you're, you're just doing his mom. Anyway, you got George Foreman, you know, for those people who like to uh, grill shit. Oh shit, we got the fridge open. Yo, dude, what do we got in here? Oh man, we have the uh, jelly, we have the extra crunchy Skippy, 
for when you're making that school lunch for the kid in the morning because they you have slept over because you have had some overnight long sexual activity. Um, you got some fucking vegetables and shit. You give that girl the vegetables. You're like, oh shit, you like vegetables? How about this fucking like bread, dude? It's not even fucking wheat. You know why? Because for those those country bitches, you know, who don't believe in global warming. It's like, oh, man, I don't eat white bread. I don't, I don't eat white bread because, uh, you know, it tastes better. It tastes better than the whole wheat shit. I don't eat that shit. You know? And for some reason, they, they, sound, they have very deep voices. Deeper than my own. Which is strange. I got more meat for them bitches, you know? Like dogs. Because of bestiality and shit. Got some more of this fucking peanut butter and jelly. Oh, my God. How much fucking peanut butter? I go to Costco. What do you do? Damn much. Anyway. Yeah, Costco, that's that place the shit. Anyway, so you got some skippy butter, peanut butter, you make some more peanut butter peanut butter just in case the, the woman you have slept with had octuplets and they were all born in a year where they'd be in school right now. I can tell you that year, but and that'd be funny, right? You can figure that out later. Anyway, you got some fucking country style spread. Right? This fucking shit's great, dude. It's country style spread. It's I don't even know. It's, it's not fucking butter though. It's country style spread. You give them some fucking onions. Make them cry a little bit. You know, unless they cry, like you know, so they don't. Oh yeah, you fucking give them vegetables from Trader Joe's. You know, for the Erica Badu. You give them some fucking beer to get them drunk. You know, some of that kind of stuff with ketchup. You can pour it on them. Looks like, you know, period. Some people are into that shit. I'm not into that shit. Now we have real butter. But, uh, anyway, so, yeah, you have a variety of sauces. It's always good to have a variety of sauces. Teriyaki for those days where you're cooking stir fry. Less soy sodium teriyaki for those bitches who were like, yo, you cook like. Chinese food, Chai City? It's like, yeah, but I cook healthy, you know? Like, an Erica Badu chick, you know? And then there's this girl this, for those fucking, like, fat chicks. You know, cheese is good for you. Put that, some of that shit. And then you have some fucking dressing, just in case you made some salad, yo. Because, you know, for those um, girls who are earthy and shit, um... You got this fucking oil, hot oil. Cause like, you know, for those bitches who like their stuff spicy, and they're probably gonna like it spicy if they're me, cause I'm Indian and this curry is spicy. <laughs> Commonly, not all curry is spicy. Indian curry is, tends to have spice to it. So they would like the spice. Cause Chai City, no, cause it's like, um, they're a girl that's like, oh, that's like into guys who are Indian, so they might like like spicy shit, you know? I don't know, maybe they like the food. So fucking, I'm gonna redo this shit. It's like, okay, so it's here, we're at preheated, it's at 18 minutes. Okay, so we'll take this, fucking. You like that shit? Doesn't fit on it. That's the humor. It's the humor, look at that fucking, that difference. Look at that fucking fall. Fuck, I'm gonna fucking push this over. You get in there, you fucking camera. You like that shit? Okay, anyway. So, let's see what happens, hopefully. Nothing too bad happens. Timer, I'm gonna time this shit. 18 minutes, because I like it fucking crunchy and crispy. One time we didn't cook it that much. Actually, I recommend going to 20. Honestly, it didn't cook it well enough, as well enough last time. And you know what? Fuck 400 degrees, we're going to 405. Okay, and cook it like this so you could get all parts covered, you know what I mean? Learn that shit in chemistry, right? No. All right. Okay, so let's put it in without burning yourself. close that and you're good and we'll wait 20 minutes anyway I'm chastity yeah nah man I think um, people are pretty tired of that joke John anyway you got Worcestershire sauce 
people always say put warp chaser sauce in your shit. I wonder how that shit smells. Give me that shit. Fucking, I'm gonna fucking smell you. Oh, oh, that's fucking that's. I, all the you get tuna. So, chicken chunk tuna or whatever, because tuna tuna, you know. For those girls who like a sandwich after you're done, you know, because they're gonna be so hungry because you've worked them out so good. Yeah, 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 Chai City. Um, I wonder if I've woken up my roommates by now. Anyway, so let me go show you. Okay, okay. First of all, something you need to watch out for. Don't leave. This is a lesson to the college cookers out there. See this shit? This, this, this one gets hot when this thing preheats. So you need to watch out for shit burning next to it. So keep all things off the stove that are flammable. If you have a pot there, Watch out, make sure it doesn't get too hot to that. I'm not gonna forget that battery. There's fucking Doritos for those bitches who are bored by your small penis. Um, you fucking, there's a, you fucking you take him out, take the kid out to the balcony. Yeah, sure, whatever, anyway, you take him out to the balcony. Fucking, you lock him out there. It's like, yo, man, kids outside. Obesity is a problem, people. Until you solve it, you put them outside. Or you can, you know, you get a lot of PlayStation games. You fucking show them. The Monster Rancher. This is a fucking great game. I fucking played this so much. I was so sad when my things died. There's some hot bitches in this game, too. But anyway, but, you know, th this game's great. It's like Pokemon, except you could actually fight the battles. It's really fucking sweet. Anyway, kids will love this shit. They'll play it. While you're, while you're slamming their mom. You know. You got your Final Fantasy 7. You know. There's Cloud in that. He's brooding. Kids like that shit. They're all angsty and shit. They're like, oh man, life sucks. Um, you know. You got your... your you could maybe show him a movie, The Crow. Yo, he's dead. That's why that movie got popular. Um, yeah. Beautiful Joe. It's a parody of the word beautiful. Anyway, so you, know, you show them your shit. You're like, oh man, you GameCube. Yo, you got GameCube. What you got in there? You're fucking beautiful Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tri City. You know? And uh, anyway, so. Right, so I, Trader Joe's has a great assortment of soft drinks for those who uh, find alcoholic beverages not in their flavor. Ginger beer, not a big fan. Um, actually, I like ginger beer quite a bit when it's not the extra ginger beer. It's not that good. The Virgils, I can't really tell the difference between the Virgils and the Vintage. Both try them, though, definitely. And the Orange Soda. Big fan. Um, that's about it for Chai City. I should probably came up with, like, a better name, like a parody of that name or some shit. Trader Joe's Bags. Also double as great garbage bags. Trader Joe's. Yo, okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pull it out. And we're gonna show you the second part of college cooking with Johnny J. Okay, so. Yo, yo, Chai City. I don't go on camera, right? And I don't make many YouTube videos. Chai City. Okay, so the oven beeped very loudly, which I should have expected and kept track of, but time goes very fast. So it, I hope it didn't wake up my roommates, and if it did, I shall offer them pizza. That's what you should do. Um, anyway, uh, let's go see what's happened here. Okay, so successfully done this. Okay, so let's get always using heating pad. Hopefully I didn't overcook this shit. Okay, so. You're gonna go in upside down, but watch us.
uh, stay safe. Be protected, Chai City. Anyway, so um, so this is how you cook the pizza. And uh, like I said, always maintain your cardboard. And uh, you can also use this to pick up the pizza. In case you want to get your heating pads dirty. But uh, the one thing you gotta watch out for is the cheese will slide off the pizza. So. Left. Hold. Now, one thing, college students, that you need to keep track of at your career fairs is that they give out pizza cutters a lot of the time and uh, could be useful. It was soaking in this, so I'm not going to use it. But um, they do give out pizza cutters at career fairs. Get if you even if you don't, um, you're not looking for a job. Uh, it's a good idea to go to your career fair and um, uh, awkwardly hit on the American Eagle chicks. Um, inside joke because I did that. And by head on, I mean I said, hello, here's my resume. Anyway, so um, there's a lot of free stuff you can get. I've gotten a Rubik's Cube. They give so many Rubik's Cubes. And um, you, what, the first step to career fair um, conquering is always get a bag first. Find a place with a bag, like just ask around to look at people with who are walking away with bags. Get the bag first, then use that bag to store all the shit that you find at the career fair and load the bag up. And, uh, you know, these companies, they, they want you to actually take the stuff because even if you're not applying there or it doesn't apply to your major, which shouldn't stop you from applying to that job, but um, uh, it, because they have to actually carry that all that stuff back. They, they want to get rid of the merch. They don't need it for themselves. So take, 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 take. And, you know, ask, say hello, give them the time of day, you know, don't just, uh, the, there's a sexual term that people use for like just putting it in and pulling out, but anyway, and then leaving, and that's, I don't know, don't just, uh, do that thing. Anyway, so we need to cut this pizza. So Jason has bought a very nice knife just for this purpose. So, uh, and by just for this purpose, it's actually, it looks cool. It's actually a very cool style. The pure Komachi 2. Plastic knife, plastic shielding. It actually cuts very well. So, you're gonna wanna always cut your pizza in a saw like direction. Okay, I'll stop. Like I said, use the cardboard as the base so you don't ruin any of your plates. And you don't have to clean up after because you don't need to get a cutting board out. You might get cut, cut some cardboard in your head, extra fiber. And look at that cut. So clean. So clean. Um, Sometimes with the Acme pizza, I like to just cut in a half and then kind of just just put a little press in there. So it, you can what you can do instead is you can just fold the pizza over. You're good to go. Um, and that's how you cook Acme pizza. Um, I uh, hope this was helpful for college cooking. So remember, very important things. Go to your Acme. Uh, okay, you're a college student, you don't have a meal plan anymore, go to your local uh, grocery store, check those frozen sections, man, because there are some deals there. The rule I follow is at least get, for every three do $3 you spend, get at least 60, 600 calories. And then that's a pretty good way to save money. Because if you're going at the 1,200 diet, uh, 1,200 um, uh, calorie diet, 
which is like usually a minimum for a lot of diets. Um, you'll at least meet that with like six bucks, which isn't too bad. And you don't have to really prepare your food. So check your frozen sections vehemently. Check them uh, and go ahead. And a lot of times you'll get some pretty good deals. Like, uh, about like, I think like three bucks for this pizza. It's like ridiculous amount of calories too. Like something like 1,000, like 200, 1,300. So you're getting enough food not that healthy what can you do um but very useful uh and that's college cooking um check your frozen aisles very vehemently do it okay bye forgot to mention um it's for acme pizza uh we usually notice that it's kind of undercooked when you don't cook it like um, at, cook it at like 405 um, rather than 400 and cook it for like 20 minutes rather than the, than the, the high the high limit of 18 on the, on the menu packaging that's it don't be too afraid of experimenting with that kind of deal because sometimes pizzas just don't cook as well and it's good to have hot pizza when you initially cook it and cold pizza is good after especially when you're dealing with frozen pizza then you know usually doesn't taste as good also, Costco pizza is awesome.